Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial for Hacking Fever. Today I'll be showing you how to download online games, you know, those uh, flash games that uh, don't take very long to download, but you can't really find a way how to download them. And then show you how you can save them onto your memory stick and play them wherever you want on any computer. So what you're first going to want to do is get a, a website browser called Mozilla Firefox. If you already have this, you can uh, just fast forward through this part of the description. But See Mozilla Firefox. I'll have a link on my description, uh, so that way you can just download and install it. And then once you get that uh, download installed, you'll also need another program called SWF Opener. I'll have that also on my description, so that way you can just download and install it. SWF Opener. And also I'll show you how you can make it so it's actual program, not a shortcut. So you can save that to your um, memory stick. It's a very small file. I already have the exe file here, and I'll show you how to get it. It's only 380 KB. Really small. I don't think you can see the memory very well. This is 380 KB. So, now let's get started and actually download a game. Uh, so first, what you're going to want to do is, uh, when you click on my link to my description for SWF Opener, just click on that download right button. See the download and download button? and it's red, click on it. It'll be an installer, so you'll have to install it first. And once you've got that done, done and ready to go, you're gonna have to go to your favorite website to play games on. I chose Addiction Games because it's my favorite. And there are a couple websites that do not work with this. Uh, the only one I can think of right now is Hall Pass. So uh, you might have to find uh, those games from Hall Pass on a different website. So let's see. Let's play a game called Trick Out, Tricked Out Trailer. Tricked Out Trailer. See so yeah, how it's only addicting games. It's not any other website like Hall Pass or anything. So that way it'll work. It's loading up. So what you're going to want to do is with Firefox running on the game you want to do, download, uh, you want to go to the top, see Tools. You'll want to be clicking on Tools. See how well I can hold the camera tools and you want to go to page info once that pops up go to the media tab let me turn down my sound okay so once you hit the media tab you're going to want to find something that says embed right here but also it'll have to uh, be an SWF file make sure it's an SWF file so those top two weren't so they're usually not the very first two Let's see what this one is there it is. Dot, see dot .swf? That's what we're looking for. That'd beat the game. Now that you found what you uh, want to play, click on it. So that way it's highlighted. And then just click on Save As. And then make sure you save it as the actual game, not some random number like Addicting Games likes to do. Let's see. Let me put this down for a little bit. Okay, so now that you have it typed in and ready to go, just click on that save button and your browser, what Firefox will download it and say done. Make sure it saves to your desktop or else you'll have trouble finding this later. So now that you're ready, you can just close out of this stuff and you can minimize your web browser for now or click out of it if, it's, if you only want to get, out, get one game. So now that you have uh, the game, see it'll be like a, it will originally be just a paper, but since I already, uh, you can open it with a SWF opener and then I'll have that picture in the middle of the paper. And it'll load up like that with SWF. But, so what SWF does is pretty much, it thinks it's a movie for some reason, but it's not. So yeah, we can just start it up with the shortcut over here. And see how it comes full screen like this. And now once you have this loaded up, click on that open button. So, open. And so, yeah, you can make a folder for all your games that you download if you download a lot of them. Or if you don't download very much. Then you can just put them in a folder or something. But yeah, and once you have the, so once you find the file that you've downloaded, the SWF file, you can open it. 
and it'll start up and it'll be in full screen if your SWF opener is in full screen it'll just be whatever size your SWF opener is pretty much so yeah, you can click play if a game has levels, there'll be a little tool up here see that little fast forward thing, not the fast forward button but the one that's like the play then the line if you click on that then uh, you might be able to skip a level so if a level's been like bugging you, you can do this also so yeah, see how it's in full screen on my computer instead of just a small screen? So yeah. Uh, and now if you want to be able to bring your uh, SWF opener with your file somewhere, like on a pen drive that doesn't have F SWF opener, what you're going to want to do is click on computer or my computer if you have Windows XP. And it will take you to like your drives that you have on your computer. And you want to find your C drive, whatever it may be called. Just make sure it's your C drive. Sorry for that different lighting. And then uh, find program files in the C. And now you're going to want to go down to U. And it's kind of weird, but let's see. You want to find UNH solutions. And there's SWF opener, double click on that. And the thing you want is uh, the .exe. You can just copy that to your pen drive with, uh, along with your games that you want. And then you can just play, use that anywhere you want. Also, you might need to use the cache viewer, depending on if it's a weird file. But I think it's only for movies. So now that you have uh, that uh, done, then uh, it's all saved, then you can play your games on any computer you want as long as you have those two programs. Okay, so thank you for watching this video, and I hope you visit my website at www.hackingfewer.com for more, for more cool tricks and hacks uh, for uh, the computer and other things such as iPod. Okay, thanks for watching.